Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we're going to tell you about iPhone camera settings to change. And I think that you're really going to enjoy these because they're going to make your life a little bit easier and things are going to make a little more sense in the camera app. So let's go to settings first. Yep, open the settings app and scroll down here to camera. Perfect, let's tap on preserve settings and this is actually talking about keeping the settings that you choose in the camera app saving them so that the next time you open the camera app, everything doesn't reset to the defaults because the defaults aren't necessarily all that great. So the first one is camera mode. Let's flip that switch on. You may have noticed that every time you open the camera app, it's stuck on photo and maybe you like to take a lot of videos. So you don't like to every time you have to go and change it over to video. Now you don't have to. Great. Let's leave creative controls alone. That's what I choose to do because that has to do with the filters and stuff. I like the camera to reset to the regular non-filtered mm -hmm. view for taking pictures. But the third one is my favorite, which is live photo. So go ahead and tap that switch to turn it on. Live photos, a lot of people don't even know what they are, but what they do is they record one and a half seconds before a camera or before a photo is taken and one and a half seconds after the photo is taken. And let's open the camera app quick. Yeah, open up the app switcher by something in the middle of the screen. And I'm just gonna tap on camera. So live photos is this circular yellow icon. Yep. Live photos are essentially short little videos, so they take up a lot of storage space, way too much. So unless you're taking a video of something that's moving, like a kid doing a jump or a Ferris wheel, mm -hmm. turn this setting off because you do not need to be taking up so much space by actually taking short videos instead of just the photos. Also, you, you might have noticed that sometimes your friends, like a friend of mine sent me a live photo the other day of a piece of paper, it was like a scan, but it was just the piece of paper, but it was this huge file that took forever to send because he didn't realize that he could just turn off live photo and take a picture of the piece of paper. So I'll just tap on the yellow circle button there, live photos are off. Right, so now when you close the camera app, reopen the camera app, they're still gonna be off. Yeah, so I'll open up the app switcher again, swipe it off the top of the screen, open the camera app again, and it's off. Right. Just something to be aware of, something you should definitely know whether it's on or not. Next setting, so let's head back to the settings app. Go back to the main page of the camera settings. Mm -hmm. Is the grid. I like to turn on the grid. Yeah, it basically makes it much easier to center your photos or videos. Mm -hmm. And uh, they also have the rule of thirds. You know about that? No, the grid. You can see these little lines. Photos are supposed to be more interesting if the subject is not directly in the center, but kind of like on one of the intersections of those lines. So it can help you to center it, but it also, you know, stick it in the, you know, off to the side, it's more interesting. Absolutely. So back at the settings app again, yeah. scan QR codes. Mm -hmm. QR codes, you know what those are probably, those boxes, like barcode boxes. Yeah. Leave it on. Yeah, use your camera. Scan it. Scan it, opens up Safari or whatever, maybe an app and it's pretty yeah. cool. It's really cool. That's how you can do that on an iPhone. People, some people don't know you can scan QR codes on iPhones, just open the camera app. What's next? Record video. Let's go ahead and tap on that. And this yeah. is where you can actually choose the quality of the video as you record on your iPhone. If you are going to record it really high quality and you have a lot of storage space in your iPhone, 4K 60, 400 megabytes a minute is a lot. Mm -hmm. So an hour is gonna be 24 gigabytes. If you have a 64 gigabyte iPhone, it's probably already got a lot of stuff on it. You're gonna get one, two hours max. 1080p 60 or 4K 30 is a pretty safe bet. Mm -hmm. Somewhere compromised in the middle. Yep, just pick your, when you want, essentially. Pick your poison. Yep. yep. Let's go back to camera and then record slow-mo, same deal. We're gonna have it at 120 or 240 frames per second. Right, some of these numbers, depending on the phone that you have, might be a little bit different, mm -hmm. but you get the idea. David has the iPhone 11 Pro. Yep. The 240 frames per second is 480 megabytes a minute, but for me, I'm usually recording a golf swing or something, so I just leave it in the slowest possible so I can try to figure out what the heck is wrong. Yep. With my so swing. let's go back to the main page of the camera again. Yep. Next, let's tap on formats. Here you can choose between high efficiency and most compatible. Mm -hmm. And uh, it actually says here to reduce file size, capture photos and videos in the high efficiency format. Just use high efficiency. Yep. yep. We Unless you have high. some problem. Yep. Sorry to cut you off. Yeah, that's true, I yeah. agree. Okay, so wrapping up this part of the settings app real quick, there are three, if you have an iPhone 11 Pro, you're gonna see three options under composition, leave them all on, they're great, and then whether or not you do have an iPhone 11 Pro and different models as well, you'll see the HDR settings, smart HDR, and we like that feature to be left on too. Yep. One last thing to be aware of here is actually a location services setting with the camera. So I'm gonna Good go call. back to the main page of the settings app, and then I'm gonna tap on privacy location services and camera. I have this on while using 
because your photos will be geotagged and then in the photos app it creates a nice little album for you of where the pictures were taken uh, it's pretty cool yeah i can i can actually open up the photos app real quick and show you what that looks like here we go places tap on that you can see on the map where your photos were taken how about that yep pretty neat yeah pretty cool for family vacations you know definitely yep so those are iPhone settings to change. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. Leave us a comment down below with any other questions and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great iPhone videos.